Okay, good evening to you all. And um, today is 24th of September 2024, where we are going to hold this live webinar with you, which I termed uh, one on one feedback and success story. And uh, I decided to hold this, even though, yeah, like I posted on my Facebook page, that uh, I was advised to do this because. Uh, when we did this, we hear from people, their feedback, their success story. It will serve as a, a, a kind of um, a encouragement to other people, I believe. So let's see. I, I'm, uh, uh, let's see, because I, I'm going to read some of the success story that some people are posted during the registration. And... Uh, I'll also allow some people to uh, speak. Okay, someone say I'm breaking. Please, is it from you or from his network? Someone say I'm breaking. Yeah, I don't know because my network has some issues. I know. Okay, he said it's okay now. Okay. So uh, we're going to divide uh, divide this into two. We're dividing it into, into two. One, uh, I'll read some of the messages that some people, uh, you know, uh, wrote while registration. I'm just speaking some, I'll read them. Then uh, I'll allow other people to talk because uh, some of them are present here. So I'll allow them to say their mind and to speak to everyone. Like I said, this will serve as an encouragement to other people and also it will help uh uh, some that uh, don't know the maybe the value of what they have learned to know that this is how they can go ahead and and do it by themselves because because where we we our effort ends is to teach you when you learn okay I'm sorry my network is uh, kind of having some issues so I'm trying to change uh, the network to other service provider but it's still working i don't know but let's continue because i'm trying to change the network even the other one is having some i'm waiting for it to finish putting okay so uh let's start let's just start i'll start by reading i'm sharing my screen back again Okay, so let's start by reading what uh, other people posted uh, uh, while doing the registration so that uh, we can, uh, after reading some of their messages, we can, I can allow other people to speak. Please, can you hear me? Uh, I don't know because if you can hear me, please let me know. Okay, so this is what uh, this Ibrahim Abdurashid from LG example State said. He said that uh, I'm still learning, so it's not success story, but I want to show my appreciation and gratitude to selfless services. So that what he wrote, so is just uh, kind of giving his feedback. He even said he want to talk, I believe, but I remove him since he has nothing to share. So I think uh, we can allow it to slide because we have many people that want to talk. So I will only allow those that are available to speak. So this one said, I have started learning tech in 2022. I used to visit Google and YouTube to learn what I wanted. However, when I come, I came across to your channel, I left most of uh, most other channels and platform and focus on your channel. That was early 2023, Alhamdulillah. I have gained many valuable experiences, especially in data analytics. I have watched many series, including Quay, Excel, Quay, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, SQL, computer based webinars. So this was in currently data analytics bootcamp. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is something, this one also is just a feedback. It's not a success story. It's just, uh, you know, narrate what uh, is going on. So it's from a Brian Shaibu, Katsina LGA. So he's from Katsina State also. 
So this one said, once I was uh, one of your students since 2022 during your first hackathon held at your office where I decided to take data analysis since then. All this is a story. It's not a success story. It's just someone saying, uh, you know, uh, I don't even, we don't need, I don't need to read all this. It's just a story. It's just a success story. So that's why I just post, I just pick some of what they said. All the prayers and other things I said, I just read them and that's okay. So no need for us to say this. So someone said, yes, uh, maybe he has uh, a success story. I really get a lot from your YouTube channel before I have zero knowledge on Excel. But immediately when I saw first 10 videos you released on Koya Excel and also I started following your page on Facebook and track each videos, each video you release. I can vividly say I have more than half of your videos that I, you release in my system. Later on, you I registered in your recent bootcamp where I never missed a single class to cut. Okay, yeah. Because surely I can call myself as intermediate in using Excel. There's, there is no way you can skip them and e-questions. Uh, yeah. So this one also is Ahmed San Ahmed is from Kacha Gumbochi. I don't need to read all, but because he's here and also oh, he is part of the people that will speak. So I'll allow him to speak uh, so that he will say all what he said here in this uh, long English. Okay. So, yeah, he's the first person to start uh, talking. So, Ahmed, if you are with me, please uh, let us know. My network is kind of unstable. But, yeah, don't worry. I'm just changing the network. So, I, I already did that. Can you hear me clearly now? Yeah. Ahmed, are you with us? I'm allowing you. I'm asking you to unmute yourself. Okay, yeah. So, let's start. Let's hear from you, Ahmed, from Kachagum, LGA, Bochi State. And we don't know where you are currently, but... I will allow you to uh, tell us your success story, how you started, what you have learned, and where you are currently. We need to hear that so that uh, maybe it will help other people. And you can even tell us how you did what you did to be where you are today, so that some people will take note on that and they will learn from your story. That's the objectives of this. That's the main purpose. So please, Ahmed, over to you. I'm unmuting myself. Uh, I'm muting myself right, soon. Uh, yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, actually, it's my pleasure to meet you all to this great session to share my success story with you before I'm Amar San Ahmad, as Malam Ahmad Aminu said. I'm an indigenous of Katagul local government area of uh, Bauchi State, currently in another state, which I need not to mention it because of uh, some security issues. Uh, uh, before I go further, I would like to thank uh, the CEO of Hamad Technology, that's Malam Ahmad Aminu, because without his guidance, I can actually achieve uh, what I achieved. So it my pleasure, sir, to actually thank you for your support, guidance, and also a uh, mentorship. Uh, before I actually consider myself as a beginner, as I wrote it in the Google form in using a uh, program in computer. But the first time I knew Malam Ahmad was, uh, I think last year when I saw his uploaded videos uh, titled Koi Excel, which was all facilitated in Hausa. With that video, sincerely speaking, I get a lot of uh, knowledge on Excel. And later on, I saw his flyers on uh, Facebook and about the 3.0 uh, bootcamp. Immediately, I saw it. I actually made the registration. And what impressed me in making the registration uh, was I paid the half of the registration. And later on, when I uh, get something, I completed the registration. A month later, we, the, the class uh, started, which almost took us three uh, months before we uh, finished the program. Sincerely speaking, uh, as I'm talking to you now, I can read my servers. Uh, intermediate, that's almost 70% in using Microsoft Excel, Power BI, and also PowerPoint and SQL, which is actually a great achievement to me because I have been seeing several players who only Excel and SQL in southern part of Nigeria, you pay more than 200000 for two weeks. Wallahi. And uh, as we all know, 
if you are, if you want to uh, get a better position in, with non-governmental organization, you must to have a knowledge in using computer, especially Microsoft package. So uh, in the month we finish this bootcamp, I actually uh, come up with an, an ability by establishing uh, an Excel template tracker that helped me in tracking uh, the number of activities and also the number of parcel reached from my community volunteers that they normally work in the field related to one maternal and child health project with one non-governmental organization I, I worked before. And I shared that template with my organization where they use it as an adaptive uh, management by sharing it with other colleagues so that at least they can use uh, that innovation I made in order to track the performance of their community volunteers. And just last two weeks, I participated in four interviews where I passed the first and last stage of the uh, interview. Uh, and I passed three out of the interview. I was invited and failed uh, one. To cut it short, I received uh, an offer from three organizations that I was interviewed. And currently, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm currently working with uh, one of them that shared, uh, that shared the offer with me. I rejected the two, and I, set up, and I accepted one that is suitable for me. And uh, as we all know, this position that I'm holding, almost 40% of the question I was asked is related to M and E. And you can't skip monitoring evaluation question without having knowledge regarding the computer. So sincerely speaking, uh, with the knowledge I gained from Malam Ahmad Aminu, I it actually helped me because if not because I participated in bootcamp, wallahi, I can swear that I cannot gain this job. Because most of the question that I was asked in the M and E related question is purely Excel and little related to PowerPoint. Because uh, the organization I'm currently working, you can they can't give you job without knowing how to uh, how to set a PowerPoint presentation, make presentation with it, make all the slides. So this is my success story with him. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to uh, see it. And I actually encourage my others for it because even if you have this knowledge, you can't get this job without Googling it. Nobody can recommend you. Even if someone recommended you, you need to sell yourself during the interview because nobody can uh, recommend you. And at the same time, you go fail and you ask him to recommend you again. And also you need to further with seeking for knowledge because you can't, even if you are working, even if you are working, there are a certain position that will come and you will not be recommended if you don't have uh, some further knowledge or you didn't acquire a higher qualification than what you have now. Thank you so much, Malam. I mean, I'm much grateful. Okay, this is a great Ahmad uh, uh, Ahmad. And it's a wonderful story, which I, I, I'm so much happy to hear this. And what you, you said, uh, a lot of people are listening. And of course, we are recording this for those that are not here with us to listen. And I would just like to emphasize on the last point, you uh, made mention that uh, has to do with you selling yourself. It, 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 nobody, even if I teach you all these skills that you are seeing, it has to do with how you respect what you have. And it has to do with how you market yourself. I know a lot of people that have this skill. I taught them they are good in it. But seriously, let me tell you, they don't know the value of what they have. Uh, I, I said this to one of the participants of Bootcamp. With the skills that you have, to me, to me, the minimum paid you can get to get a job in organization, minimum salary I'm seeing that you can get with the skills you acquired is 500k and above. But I know a lot of people that settle for 60,000 Naira salary, 80,000, 150. I, I don't kind of blame them, even though they don't know they have the value of what they have learned. But it all has to do with how you market yourself and how, to comp how you compose yourself, how you treat the knowledge and how you, you know, uh, like you said, how you sell yourself during the 
interview. And um, this is great. And uh, we wish you all the best. And uh, like I told you in our chat, of course, as some of people see the chat, I told you that whenever you see something better than what you have, you move. That's how it is. Now start targeting bigger position because you can't remain in one position for one year or two years. That's one thing a lot of civil servants are not thinking, are not seeing in their future. You can't remain in the same position for two years. That's how it works. When you start something one year, start targeting bigger position. That's how it works. So don't think just because you are getting salary of 500,000, 600,000, you just relax. A time goes on by 2030, 500,000 is nothing. So you should start preparing yourself from today. Whenever you get a position, don't be carried away with the salary. Even if you get that uh, huge amount, don't carry it out. There is, you know, you can get bigger salary with the skills that you have. I know people with higher salary, way up one point above. They don't even have the, the, the capacity that some of you have learned uh, so far. But it all has to do with the way they market themselves, the way they package themselves, and the way they did it. So if you work harder, you try your best, you acquire the experience I told you to go and get, believe me, you can get a huge, uh, you know, big uh, job, which you can uh, seriously enjoy. So this is it. Uh, thank you, Ahmad Sani. So uh, the, there are many people that said they want to talk. I don't want to go through the list because the list is much. So if you know you are present, okay, Ashuru Sani, definitely Ashuru Imrana, Salisu, and Ashuru, of course. Where is this review? If you are presence please you can raise your hand rabbi muhammad shaibu from nasarawa lge kano state i don't know if he, he's here with us he's not here with us but i know i have ashuru so let me go to ashuru from guso i can see him here where is ashuru sani so let's hear your success story Ashuru Sani, you can unmute yourself. I ask you to unmute yourself. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Ashuru. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. We can hear you. Continue. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening. Continue. I'm muting myself. Okay. So what yeah. I just want to ask. Okay. What I just want to add is, like my brother have already said, I just want to advise my remaining colleagues that are present here that they should be patient on uh, the skills. As you already, as you always tell us that we should look where to volunteer, where to get the experience. Many, I apply, uh, I apply many jobs, but I know what makes me not be successful is that uh, skills. Because always they used to require skills more than one year, more than two years and above. But I believe that inshallah, one day I will achieve my goals, inshallah, through this data analysis that I want to, that I'm doing in, in it. So also, sir, I just want to ask, even though I have to, I just want to ask you in private, maybe, I will chat to you, sir. What? About there's uh, something it, that I want to is it personal? Quit. If it is personal, oh, then we chat sir. private. But if but, it is not personal, you can say there maybe the reply will yeah. benefit all. Maybe. Yes, it's personal, sir. Okay, if it is personal, <laughs> so, if it's, then why not here? Okay, if it is no, personal, then it's course, personal. So it's okay. But you can share us your success story. I know you participated in three MTT this thing and you showcase your data analytics skill, you got a laptop. Isn't that a success story that you want to share with us? Because I saw your post that you got a laptop. Of course, of course, sir. So and you need to share that with people now. How do you do it so that people can learn from that? Yeah. Because the laptop that you got is worth 400,000 or 300 plus. So at least you should tell, tell people how do you do Actually, it. Actually, yeah. what I uh, did from you, sir. Okay, okay. So you can send me the message. Yes, as we said, private, so that I can see. If it is not that personal, personal, I will say it here. If it is personal, then I will leave it with you. I will reply with it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so uh, who is next that said you want to talk? I don't know. There are people here. 
Yeah, that's what I wanted him to talk, and ZP. I wanted him to talk about the steps, how he did it, even though he's one of the participants. I know some of you are not, but he is one of them, and he participated. He got laptop, brand new laptop. So uh, it's okay. If you can write it, how he did it, maybe you can start writing it in the chat, and people can read it there. So let me see who is around and who is available also. We have Muazo Haliru from Kanu, Mubarak Abdul Razak. Okay, Ibrahim Lowell. Okay, so some of these people, Imran Asali, some of these people that want to talk, most of them, I don't think they are here with us. So, but uh, I uh, let me use the remaining time that we have to uh, kind of uh, advise you on what to do. Like I, I always tell you, as you are beginning or as you are starting now, you don't have the required working experience. That's what you need to have. But, 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 what will help you so much in that? Yeah, Nazipi, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay, so you can speak. Maybe I'll close. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. Okay, sir. Um. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Sir. Yeah. Uh. First of all. Uh. All right. Thank you so much, sir. So far, I just want to share my success story number one and then point out the lessons that we can learn i initially thought my uh the achievement i have made so far isn't that great to you know kind of um shade here but uh with some consideration i thought let me just say it so that we may learn from the story well initially even before we completed this i think i shared it during our last day of uh, the class that I started, you, you know, doing something on online, that is uh, selling my skills on Upwork. So what I want to tell my uh, friends here is that you have several options with uh, the coming of technology today. You must not uh, kind of, um, uh, it's not, you know, it's good. I'm not discouraging that, but you can also sell your skills online, not necessarily volunteering with NGO or, you know, uh, volunteering or working with a company. No, you can go and register on Upwork. I did that and I'm making uh, something there. Uh, I think, let me just say it, I, I, because I believe in transparency, I think this can motivate others. Last month, I made like uh, $300 from, from Upwork which is a good money when you convert it to, to Naira. You understand? And most of what they need is uh, is you to kind of um, prepare a template for them using Excel. Or uh, they might give you some data and ask you to prepare a Power BI presentation for them. You understand? So most of the works you see there, when you sit down, develop on what you have learned from what Malam taught us in class, you can see it's something that you can do it yourself as well. So do not restrict yourself to saying that you must get either, I'm not discouraging, as I said it earlier, I'm not discouraging getting the NGO job or volunteering with NGO. I'm just trying to point that we have an option today with the coming of technology. You can also sell your skills online and make money out of it. So, and also for those who are not having uh, the uh, comfort of maybe working online or those who prefer to go and, you know, do it the traditional way that we have been doing it. You can as well, you must not get a job. As Malam rightly said, you can start by volunteering, but you have to package yourself. If possible, do, uh, there is what is called portfolio, meaning you should do some tax. You can grab those assignments given to us by Malam present them in a very nice way, host them online. You can host them on your Google Drive. Then uh, write your cover letter to whatever target organization you want to. What I There was something that I tried all the time. I went to Google's uh, Malam's uh, YouTube uh, channel. Then I saw he shared a website where you can find NGO jobs. That is NGO jobs. There is a website called that, NGO jobs. There comes something related to that. Then I went to that. 
Then I filtered by the location I am currently. Then I saw the name, the list of uh, the NGOs that existed there that are looking for jobs. But what I am looking for, I'm not looking to apply for that particular position they applied. My target was to know the names of those NGOs in order to collect their contact details. Then I was able to track them using their contact details, their email addresses, compose an email, then attached those uh, that uh, compose an email to them that I am so 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 I have so so skills and I can do A B C Z, you know, and I am proficient in Excel, Power BI, SQL, PowerPoint. So, and then also I attach uh, uh, the link that I uh, the link of uh, those portfolios that I have done those assignments. I crafted some of the Malam's assignment. You understand? Presented them in a nice way. Display the formulas you have used. You understand? Because that shows that you are the one that did it. You no know, go and copy it and, you know, uh, paste it there. Do that. Paste the link for them to follow. Because if they want to validate what you, you said you have done, they will follow the link. And the link will take them to the Google Drive where you host those portfolios. So they will be able to see that. You understand? So when they see that, start as a volunteer. Uh, when you start as a volunteer, for my own story, up to now, I haven't gotten a response, but I'm sure I will very soon. But I'm just trying to point that you can do it this way as well. Find a list of NGOs that exist within your locations, which I said you can get the names of those NGOs when you go online, filter by your locations, get their contact details. When you get their contact details, write an email to them or call them on phone. There is uh, this NGO I called in Bauchi. Uh, they said they, they okay, they, since they rejected my uh, my request, but they did it nicely I, uh, and I appreciated them. I was unable to get their email address, but I got their phone number. I took the phone number, I called the person, you know, with that phone number, he answered, but he rejected, res you know, respectively. I, I appreciate that. So you can see, you can also call them. So uh, this is what who I am. And I am proficient in this, and I'm willing to volunteer in social position. The importance of volunteering is very huge. Number one, you get the chance to polish your skills. Number two, you get the chance of networking, learning from uh, networking, friendship, you understand? Number three, you will be able, once a position is open in that organization, they will, the first person to reach out to will be you. Or, you might be among the, the the people they will reach out to because some of the positions are not advertised, are internally advertised. And they would say, uh, for example, what is the name of this, my good friend? Uh, Sunusi. They might say, okay, Sunusi, we have um, this particular position. You can apply since you're volunteering here with us. So this is how you do it. You understand? So you can see uh, you'll be able to get a lot of um, opportunities by volunteering. And I have uh, shared uh, some of the tricks that I think if you use, you'll be able to scale volunteering. And as well, if you're unable to scale volunteering for the meantime, go to Upwork, register with your skills, sell yourself, but you have to be patient as well on that, particularly on that Upwork. Be patient and be consistent. Don't give up. God's willing, you'll be able to scale something meaningful. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, this is great, Salusi. Thank you so much for sharing this uh, wonderful thought with uh, all the people and advice that you get them. And I used to tell them this, that of course you don't need to get... Let me say this, I will say this. I'm not saying all of you should go and get NGO jobs or something like that. Let me crystal make these creatures crystal clear with all of you. Because there is a level that you can reach where any job that was that will be given to you Believe me, it's not worth what you are worth. That's what you need to understand. It's not worth what you are worth. So maybe you can be thinking you are earning one million every month. Believe me, believe me, they are killing you and they are ex like kind of extorting you or something like that. They are just, you know, you are not benefiting the way you're supposed to benefit with your skill. Let me tell you this. So uh, you should know who you are. You should know your value. Go online, like he said, 
share your skills. You can get a lot of contract, a lot of consultancy. There is one lady that that told me, I, I, I don't know where she is, even though she told me she's pregnant, but she told me that after our first boot camp, I think last year, even currently she told me she was engaged as a consultant by other NGO, NGOs that are doing educational uh, you know, uh, implementation on some kind of things to train people. And she was paid handsomely to train them as a consultant. So the paid she's getting is more than any salary somebody will give you for any salary you can get. So please, you should know who you are. You should know how to balance it. And like what Nazipi said, of course, me too, I highly encourage all of you to go on this freelancing website. I share, I, I don't have a experience on Upwork. I can say this. I told you even when I did my Fiverr webinar, two days webinar on Fiverr, it's Fiverr that I have experience on. And it's Fiverr I'm getting money. Like I, even now I have more than 40 something orders there and I'm at the closest to the highest stage of at Fiverr. So it's Fiverr I have experience is where I'm making my dollars. So, but Upwork also works. You see, he said that he withdrew about $300 there. $300 is a huge amount of money. You know, all of you know that. So please try as much as you can. Try as much as you can to market yourself, to, you know, kind of try to look for where you can earn from what you have learned. That's how it is. You are the one to market yourself. Now it's like you... Uh, let me say you are like a wholesaler. Maybe let's say you go to Canoa, you purchase whatever product you purchase. So it's left for you to market the product or it's left for you to allow the product to perish or to, you know, spoil and whatever. So that's left uh, for you. So you have the knowledge when you have the skills, that's left for you to uh, earn from it or to start uh, making money from uh, the skill. So, um, uh, thank you so much. You all share. I, I believe some of you that are here, you learned uh, 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 a lot. And of course, you have here, uh, you have had uh, your colleagues and you hear different stories from people. And of course, I know from these stories that you uh, had, you will pick, you know, where you have uh, maybe lapses, you will just pick it from there and continue. And there are many of you that I know, they don't consider this as a way of making money. That way, most of you end up... Uh, mining, uh, doing all this crypto. Believe me, these miners, if I teach you, I, I find out you are, <laughs> you have data analytics skill and you end up mining. That thing hurts me a lot because I, to me, I, I know that you don't know the value of what you have in you. That, that's, that's the reality. So I know some of you that are doing that. Please know that you have a very valuable skills in you so that you keep, keep, keep posting what you have learned. Like, like what Nazipi said, Please bring out such assignment. Just put them in a very good looking manner. Post them online. Talk about them. But some of you, you see, I can see you posting all these uh, telegram groups of coins and whatever. Me, believe me, I, if you know the value of what you have, you cannot do that. Please and please, I'm begging you, please, for God, for Almighty God's sake, please, so that you will not, I, I will not waste my time teaching you for three months. Oh, so for a while, are you end of mining? What? <laughs> Seriously, that hurt. It hurts a lot. But if you take it serious, you consider what you have serious. Believe me, you will get a uh, you know serious uh, improvement in it. So please go on Upwork, go on Fiverr. If you want to see how to do on Fiverr, go ahead and do that. Nazipi that has experience on Fiverr, please. If you can con uh, organize a webinar, Nazipi on Fiverr uh, Upwork. Uh, you can organize a webinar. It, it's okay. I can share it and you can go ahead and do it with people. Uh, you can send me your portrait. I can create a player on that. We create a link. You can do a webinar on work, Upwork, how people can set up work, Upwork. You share your experience on how you got the orders and whatever, and you can do it. Because me, I, I, did, I, I don't teach what I don't have experience on. So even though I have Upwork account, but believe me, I didn't. I never get any order from Upwork, so I cannot teach Upwork because I don't have any experience to share. But Fiverr that I have experience with uh, thousands of dollars there, yeah, of course I can talk about it. 
and I, I I've already talked about it. So Nazipi, we can talk after this so that maybe we can arrange a webinar for people. You can teach them on how they can set up their profile on Upwork and whatever so that you can guide them on that because I want everyone to be carried along and I wish everyone all the best. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, I, I didn't see any question from anybody. So I believed we are very good to go. So I wish you all the best. And please, if there is anything maybe you want to share or something like that, maybe you can meet on Saturday because I will have, uh, I'm will i having a career mentoring on Saturday, even though it's been many Saturdays, I didn't do it. But this Saturday, inshallah, I think I'll hold that career mentoring by 9 p.m. on Saturday. So maybe we can meet there. If you have anything to share, you can share. I want to put the community together so that people can learn from each other and everyone can benefit from what he uh, learned. So please see you uh, next time. And I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful dream and take care. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.